everyone welcome back to onyx food heal i'm super glad to have you back in another video i'll be showing you how to make shepherd's pie shepherd's pie is a classic british dish that is made with minced lamb vegetables and mashed potatoes topping it is a hearty and flavorful meal that is perfect for a cold winter day so let me show you how to make this right away peel your potatoes and cut them into bite-sized pieces once you're done give the potatoes a quick rinse to remove that you will need about six to eight medium-sized yukon gold potatoes for this shepherd's pie recipe next place the potatoes in a large soup pot add salt and enough cold water to cover the top bring them to a boil for about 15 to 20 minutes or until they are cooled and soft enough to mash once the potatoes have become soft drain them and leave to sit in the sink for a few minutes to drain off all the water transfer the cooked potatoes to a mixing bowl and mash them using a potato masher or ricer. I have a full recipe on the channel on how to make a creamy mashed potatoes, so please be sure to check that out. Once you have a creamy and fluffy mash, add soft butter and warm milk to it and continue to mash until the potatoes have absorbed everything. Now stir in sour cream, season with black pepper, garlic powder, and salt. Fold this in gently until you have your desired consistency. Once you're done, cover the mashed potatoes and set aside until later. Next, make the meat filling for the shepherd's pie. Heat some olive oil in a saucepan over medium heat. Once the oil is hot, add chopped onions and carrots to it. Cook for 4 minutes while stirring intermittently. When these are soft and fragrant, go in with chopped celery sticks and some minced garlic. Cook these for a minute while stirring until fragrant. Go ahead and add the minced lamb to the veggies and try breaking up the larger chunks with a spatula. Once you have smaller pieces like this, cook the meat on medium heat until it is no longer pink. It's now time to season the meat. So I'm going in with tomato paste and then salt, black pepper and chili flakes. Stir and make sure everything is nicely combined. Leave the meat to simmer on medium heat for 2 minutes for the seasonings to be fully absorbed. And then go in with frozen peas and further season these with Worcestershire sauce. Some beef stock, freshly chopped thyme and rosemary. Give this a good stir and make sure everything is well incorporated. Finally, put a lid over and simmer the meat sauce for 10 minutes on medium heat. After 10 minutes, check on the meat filling. The liquid should have reduced just a little bit. Now, dissolve 2 tablespoons of flour with water and add it to the sauce. This will help create a nice and delicious gravy for the meat and also help thicken it. Make sure to stir this immediately so it doesn't solidify. Just simmer this for 2 minutes until it thickens up slightly. Then remove from heat once it's thick and rest it for a minute for the steam to reduce. Next, 
assemble your shepherd's pie. Pour the lamb mixture into your baking dish and spread it into an even layer. Scoop the mashed potatoes on top and gently level it out evenly with a spoon. Use a fork to create both vertical and horizontal ridges on the potatoes just to beautify the top. Just so that you know this isn't mandatory, you can choose to level the top and leave it plain if you want. Place the dish in the preheated oven and bake your shepherd's pie for 25 minutes. You can boil it towards the end if you like it a little bit brown and firm on the top. Your delicious shepherd's pie is ready once the top is slightly golden brown. Remove from the oven and allow it to rest for 10 minutes before serving. This will allow the filling to firm up slightly. Just take a look at this. I guess this is the right, perfect comfort food that you need in this season. <laughs> it's so delicious. And this is my favorite part. It's testing time, guys. Mmm, this is really tasty and full of rich flavors. Give this shepherd's pie a try and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Until next time guys, have a great day and bye for now.